worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello! Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Manuel on radio. This God sent ministration that removes frustration, creates elevation, and sets you up for celebration. Receive it every day on this highly esteemed radio station. It comes every day. He says, give us our daily bread. It is a day by day ministration and it will set you right. The voice you hear under inspiration, under an anointing, will make a difference in your life. Push everything away and let it become your way of life that you expect this ministration at this time on this station. Take it beyond yourself. Invite your family members and your neighbors. Tell them to tune in to this radio station at this time every day. We are on several other radio stations within the city and the state to be a blessing to you. We start with faith confession. We confess what the word of God says to our lives and we metamorphose. We become whatever the word of God says. Be loud as much as you can. A closed heart and a closed mouth will lead to a closed destiny. Take it as we are saying it. You will become it. Take this confession with us. Say with me, my Father and my God. I am in your presence these days. In your presence, there are pleasures forevermore. I go out in your name. Let your presence go with me. God's presence and power accompany me everywhere I go. My light must shine for the whole world to see. My children's lives must shine for the whole world to see. Hold me by the hand. Take me on the journey of life. I can't go it alone. I can't do it alone. Whatever is stronger than me is not stronger than my God. Therefore, I command Goliath, fall before me now. I prophesy to all mountains, mountains of challenges, mountains of oppositions, mountains of arrows from the enemy, mountains of difficulties. I command you, be removed now and be cast into the sea. God's power is on me. I can do all things through Christ that gives me power. I speak to my assignments. I speak to my programs. I speak to my projects. Everything before me, you are accomplished. I say you are accomplished. I will not fail in anything. Failure is not in my DNA. God is not a failure. So I cannot fail. I will succeed everywhere I go. Everyone that must support me, approve me, assist me, help me, support me, help my children, my business, my career. You will not say no. You are under a divine command to support me. I will not lack help. I will not lack resources. I call for wisdom. Wisdom in my life. I am wise. I'm not a fool. I am up. I am not down. I am strong. I am not weak. I am returning with testimony. I believe it. I confess it. I receive it in Jesus' name. Let your amen be stronger. Wow. You will not just be making confession. You will be seeing the manifestations of God's wonders. From faith confession, we now come to the ministration of the word of God. If you can, have your notebook, as I have always said. We are still on this crucial matter, which is money issue, money matter. Everybody needs money. Everyone spends money. Everyone, especially, you need to have enough money to spend and to share. Even if you have money now, you can still have more, much more. We serve a God of much more. He said, the Lord shall bless you more and more, you and your family. You need to be overflowing. Overflowing dimension is what helps you to get to others. 
I have met people that their own attitude to life is that I don't need much. Have you met people like that? They say, I don't need much. All I need is just to be able to meet my need, my basic need, pay my rent, send my children to school, and uh, all my basic need. Even if I don't build a house, if I don't drive a car, it's okay. No, 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 no. What a kind of mindset is that? Please don't waste God's asset on you. God has invested on you more than you are saying. And don't let your tongue, your mouth trap you. Watch if all you want is just what you can eat, what you can wear, and then what you can use only for yourself. That would be a very miserable life. Life is not about you. Life is about others that surround you. Life is giving, giving to the less privileged, giving to do the work of the kingdom. Life is about adding value to others, supporting charity, feeding the poor, clothing the naked, housing the homeless, advancing the cause of the gospel, and then endowment in the university for those who will do research to bring the relief to human beings. How many of my listeners know that it costs money, huge money, to put this ministration on radio every day on several radio stations, and we have been on for almost two years now. How many of you know it is money? Where is the money coming from? People like you who had allowed God to bless them are the one bringing money for us to do this. By the grace of God, everybody raise up your right hand where you are. Raise up your right hand. I prophesy by the grace of God, you will have money. Money will flow in your hand. By God's grace, you will soon join the group sponsoring this ministration in Jesus' name. You contribute to the enlargement of God's kingdom. You contribute to the relief of pains from people's life. So life should not just be what I what I will eat, what I will wear. No. I know. And no one need to steal, need to kill other human beings. Nobody need to go fetish and go diabolical. Nobody need to maim. Nobody need to tell lies. Nobody need to be involved in corruption. Nobody need to change figures. Nobody need to put other people down. Nobody need to do all those. Nobody need to be occultic and or commit criminal criminalities and be involved in evil practices to make money. I have said that again and again. Those are devilish way. Proverbs 14 verse 12 says, There is a way that looks right unto man, but the end thereof is death. All the Yahoo Yahoo guys, the end thereof is death. The end story will be pathetic, will be catastrophic. Nobody need to do that. That is money hard way, blood money, killing other people to have money, being diabolical, taking to be occulted. Ah, no, no, no. Stealing and getting corrupt, stealing God's men money, people's money. No, you don't need that way to make money. Listen to what I have always said. God did not create man for poverty. Poverty was not God's original idea for you and me. Poverty was a byproduct of the fall of man in the garden. Jesus Christ came to redeem man from the consequences of the fall, which includes poverty. What we make individual rich and wealthy was born with each person. You came with what we make you rich from heaven. No one can stop your prosperity except you through ignorance, through tradition, and through superstition. If you discover your potentials, if you develop them and deploy them, you will be super rich. Poverty is no lack of physical money. It is lack of ideas. Your brain, your mind will open up for new ideas. Riches and wealth have two dimensions, the spiritual and the physical. We will teach you the physical. We will impart the spiritual. Your life will open up. This Tuesday, October 1, then God gives opportunities for riches, but you have responsibilities to make it happen. All this we will be teaching you. The strongest force behind poverty is ignorance. Poverty will be removed from the life of everyone. Riches and wealth are tied to investment. I say these things again and again. Let them stick with you. Listeners, please do that. Let this teaching continue. You need this series of teachings. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. He said, I will give you teachers after my own heart that will teach you understanding and knowledge. Wow. Knowledge gives power. And understanding makes you outstanding. God gave me to you to teach you knowledge and understanding of making money and growing your wealth 
God's way. So that, look, if money problem is solved, over 80% of life's problems are over. All businessmen and businesswomen, all young entrepreneurs, all platform and network owners, prepare to attend that one day school for money to take you further. From 10 a.m. at Dominion City, at Uloju bus stop, along the world road, your express road, Ibadan. I will be there waiting for everyone who needs this teaching and impartation for financial destiny to open up. Money has two dimensions, the natural and the physical, the human effort and God's dimension. First Corinthians, look at what he says. Oh, can I just read that to you, if you can, so that you can understand what we are saying. First Corinthians, the Bible says in chapter 3 of First Corinthians, verses 6 and 7, if I can just get it. He said, if Paul planted and Apollo waters, only God can bring the increase. Do you see that? The spiritual and the natural we are saying. Paul may plant, Apollo may water, but increase comes from God. That says it all. Paul must first of all plant, Apollos must water, but the spiritual dimension must come. That is God for you to blossom. So next Tuesday, October 1, we shall do the two practical teachings of what to do to make money, then impartation and anointing for heavens to open up upon everyone. Come early, plan, couples, individuals, those in the corporate world, students, workers, civil servants, self-employed, entrepreneurs, 10 a.m. Please come. All road will lead to Dominion City that they bring documents, bring items, bring products, bring your system, bring pictures, bring your ideas of what you want to do, and we will put it before God. Inform others, now that you know, and then encourage them. You know, we can all be financially comfortable. Other people, tell others, and tell others, and let all this begging for money, all this Nigeria is tough. Nigeria, Nigeria look, I know things are tough. I know things are difficult. I know about hyper inflation. I know about Naira dollar rate. I know we have not had good governance. I know there are no infrastructure, but despite that, you can be financially comfortable. Don't miss this meeting. It will change you. And from there, I will connect you to other things you need to know. Knowledge is never ending. So young and old, men and women, let's teach, let's preach, let's guide you, let's mentor you, and let the power of God come on you. Conference is free, but we need to know that you are coming. So send an SMS or a chat to this number and say, I will be there. 80 8377 80 That same number to send your questions. Uh, people have been sending their questions and issues about money, about wealth, their confusion, uh, their challenges. Ask me all the questions you need to ask about making money and growing wealth without sinning, without breaking the law of man or the law of God. Tell me, Manuel, how did you come about it? How did you come to this level? Other people will be joining me that day. Send your questions in form of SMS or a chat to that same number, 080-555-8377. 080-555-8377. Do so now. We will build more on this. Can you touch yourself on the forehead? I pronounce power. I pronounce ideas. I pronounce greater grace upon your life. Financial sufficiency, good health, and the power of God that lifts people up. The one that lifted me, we also lift you. In Jesus' name. Say amen. I receive it. Next to sharing God's word, we listen to testimonies of others. Listen. Good morning, church. My name is Esther Francis. I was here three weeks ago. That three weeks ago, we are preparing for my mother, Ilo Beria. And my husband is in nest now. So, and I was telling my husband, say, I just want to do this thing to leave the ground. I say, ah, I say, you know, when we are with, there is no 
more this thing now. Paul, I was just telling you, I take God. If you know you are truly God, yes. you will do this for mm. us. Because if we will pull hope, we say, my brother will give me this. He, he share money for all of that. I say, don't put hope on them. Put hope on God. Mm. So the first money my customer gave me, he just, I said, I can't do your work. He said, why? I said, I'm traveling. He said, what happened? I told her. She just sent 20000 to me. Uh-huh. With faith, I come to this altar. That was three weeks ago. Mm. I dropped the 20000 naira. I wow. said, God, if you can do this to me, yes. I will come back yes. and give you thanks. And that is why I'm here. Do you know that God surprised us? Surprise. If I, even after the barrier, yes. people, even my people my, that, that I did not <laughs> even expect, yes. they are very stingy. They were, yes. This one give me 50000 This one give me 50000 yes. Even my husband, the boss, even his friend, they were just giving. After the yes. barrier, somebody still said 100000 Hallelujah. Somebody is hearing me. You will have more than enough for that program. You will have more than enough for that project. My name is Sister Ngozi Ukono. I just want to thank Almighty God for giving my sister work at America. Her work stopped. She Hmm. was crying. She called me one day. I used to send her turning point point prayer. She said, Sister Ngozi, that place place you used to go to church to pray. That point you used to send for me. I want you to go to the altar and cry for your God. Mm-hmm. I know you can pray. You can pray fire, fire prayer. Mm-hmm. Go and pray for me, dear. I started this prayer. Yes. Every time I, call, I say, God, people will be giving testimony. Yes. I say, God, what about me? I wrote my memo. Yes. So two days ago, she called me, says, Sister God, praise the Lord that God has given her a very good work. A very good that job. That is even better than the, better than the previous one. That's why that place is far from where she's living. But she yes. will go in there. That her tight will be coming soon. Amen. May I give God all the whole glory. All the glory. The Lord that did it for her. Hallelujah. You are not here only for yourself. Present all issues about all your people. Testimony will come. My name is Foluke Abigail. I give God the glory, the glory. and adoration for what happened this morning. Yes. As I was coming uh, in our bus stop, so I look at the Marwa mm-hmm. and the Stifa, you know, because I want to get to church on time. Mm-hmm. So I was looking at the other side. other side. Before I know it, the Marwa is already very close to me. Wow. And now said, instead of you to be looking the direction of it, you are looking at the other side. I say, God, it's not my portion. Yes. I was carrying uh, my bag and uh, one other, this thing. So there is uh, this uh, people that used to push uh, uh, this truck. So he was packing something inside this thing. So I was trying to avoid him. Mm. Unknowing to me, and there is a uh, gutter. Unknowing to me, just uses uh, this thing to push me fast. This thing I'm saying mm. is a very serious something. Wow. I don't know how I manage, manage to just avoid falling inside that gutter. that gutter. And thank God, the gutter is wide, but mm. not other wide like that. So mm. I can, I can jump over. over it. People are just saying congratulations. Mm. I don't know what will have happened this wow. morning. I will be wounded and, uh, you know, Praise Thank God. God. And it, I will no to evil. Come to pray, yeah, no evil will come near you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I am Elizabeth. I thank God for what he has been in my family. Yes. But you celebrated them. My husband's birthday. Yes. And everything went well. Those who travel, they got back to their places safely. Amen. And the second one is that uh, I travel. Mm. holidays. Yes. And throughout the traveling, God granted granted us journey messages. Yes, ma'am. And we are back to Nigeria. Glory be to God. Amen. Then the third one is that uh, during this uh, our traveling, something happened. Mm. But God just used an helper to help us out. Epa. So I give him glory also. Amen. Then the fourth one is my grandson, Hmm. About two years ago, when he finished the exam, I came here to testify yes. that he got nine A's in oh. the exam. Hmm. Now he entered the A levels. So during our holiday with them, the result came, and the boy got three A's, hmm. and is now in the university. Help me praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Victoria. I've come to return all the glory to the almighty God. Yes. My daughter has been waiting for the fruit of the womb for almost seven years. 
she got married. I've been coming to church, write a memo, mm. pay back to stay. Mm. But last year, yes. she went for IVF, his face. It's become a very painful thing to him. He was even thinking of uh, drinking the uh, IPO. Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> so, December last year, I decided to go to a wall lifting conference. Yes. That was my first time of going there. Yes. I went there. I was on the altar. It was during yes. my birthday. I was there praying, crying yes. to God. They said, yes. you should not go to the altar. I said, oh, no. If you don't want me to go to the altar, I will stand on the, yes. the altar. Yes. So, so I was crying there. I prayed. I said, God, help me. So I don't know that same December, God did it. Yeah. She became yeah. pregnant. She doesn't hey. she don't even know. She doesn't even know after six weeks. She said she was, she was having fever. Uh -huh. And she went to the hospital. No, like fever she used to go and do pregnancy test and it was possible. She gave birth to a baby boy. Wow. Baby boy. And we did the daily ceremony. So I am happy to come back and say, God, I thank you. Amen. But after the name is thank you, please. My husband had accident the following morning on Friday. The accident would have claimed his uh, life, but God didn't allow it. So Hallelujah. I give glory to God. There shall be no crying in every family. Wow, you will not just be hearing their testimonies, you will be having testimonies as well. It's today your bad day. You are one of the celebrants of today. Fold your two hands on your chest as I pray your bad day prayer for you. May the Lord bless your bad day, bless your new age, give you a special bad day gift today. You will live to celebrate forever. Amen. Anoint yourself and begin to see what will be happening in your life every day. I hope you have joined our turning point and you hear me on your phone every day. I hope you have subscribed to our YouTube. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube, please go to your YouTube and type at the real Femi Emmanuel. Just type at the real Femi Emmanuel. The word real is R-E-A-L. Subscribe, turn on notification, and you begin to see the power of God as we send messages. Don't forget, it's counting down the one day money making and wealth building school. That is this Tuesday, Tuesday, October 1, National Independence Day, Dominion City. Call everyone. You don't need any evil means. You don't need to struck. You don't need to crawl. Some people cry all over, just being look, they look pitiable. Who will help me? Nobody can give you all you need. Nobody can. If they help you that much, they will cage you. They will lord it over your life. They will dictate your life for you. They will take life out of you. Come and learn how to engage your hand, especially younger people. Older generation, I'm sorry to say, if you are older generation, 70 and above, 60 and above, and you are groping in the dark financially, but you can also come and hear it for your children and put them right. Everybody, make sure you are so blessed. It will bless you. And if you want to know more about Tuesday, uh, October 1, Wet money making and well building school, send an SMS or a chat to the two numbers I've always given you 0805 2194 and 0813 Then tomorrow is the prayer mountain service. That same Dominion City, Adulogy bus stop along the world road or John Express Road, Ibadan. Two powerful services, impartational fast services, miraculous services, hold in Dominion City every Thursday. It's not a church service. Nobody will ask you the name of your church, your tribe, your race. No, it's for everyone that wants to connect to God's power to make a difference in their lives. It is impartational. It is prophetic. It is miraculous. Please come. Two services, 7 to 9 a.m. early morning is the first service. That's a good one for you. You still have your whole day to yourself. And the second service is 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. That's another two hours. Come, those of us that are already coming, don't miss it. Let the aura build up. Let the anointing build up. Let the wisdom build up. Let the knowledge build up. When the cloud is full of rain, it will tumble down on its own. And the prayer focus tomorrow is a great one. It is God said to me. Everyone that wants God to say to them, 
In what areas of life do you want God to settle you, settle your daughter, settle your son, settle you financially, health-wise, maritally, settle you abroad, settle whatever, settle the debt you owe, settle you in anointing, settle you ministerially, list on a sheet of paper. Areas of life where you want God to settle you and your family, put it in a white envelope. You will lay it on the prayer altar tomorrow. We will call on God. You will be divinely settled. So come from everywhere. We will give you anointed mantle for praying and doing miracle free of charge. Bring water bottle. We pray over it. It becomes healing agency in your life. It will change you. Come in your vehicle, ample car park. Come in commercial vehicle. Come from all over. We will position buses at Living Spring Chapel, Zongo Ibadan, and Poplar's petrol station in World Road to bring people to and fro in the two services. You will pay a token. You will see people flowing there. Join them. Let me invite President close to Dominion City because people are coming from all over Ibadan. As big as Ibadan is, people are coming from outside Ibadan, even outside of your state. Some people come to sleep over in order to attend tomorrow's service. So all residents of Timidi Real Estate, along Tedo Estate, Samba Moraya Hotel area, Jackon area, Adulogu Community, Iyano Bodija, Ori Ofe, Alagbanyo Quarters, A3 Hotel areas, Rainbow area, Kajo Repo Kajo La Community, Ajao Community, Agbowo Express, Ojo Bashonu, Orogun, Ashi Bodija, General Gas, Akobo area, Akala Way. You are all very close to Dominion City. University of Ibadan, come out of the first gate, opposite is Agbowo, all kind of transportations there. Just ask them to lead your car through Agbowo to the other express, or take you through Agbowo to the other, other side of express. That's Aguloju bus stop, that's Dominion City. You see people flowing and flowing and flowing there. Come, we gather in thousands, and God listen to everyone. Your head will be anointed, prophetic grace will be spoken to your life, I'm expecting you tomorrow in any of the two services at the prayer mountain. I'm expecting you on Tuesday, October 1, from 10 a.m. for money-making and well-building school that I will conduct for all, interdenominational, interreligious, interracial. Everyone, you will be lifted. You will not be poor. The story of poverty in your life will be a thing of the past. You will live long. You will live well. What is left for me now is the prophetic impartation for the day. Receive it. I stand in the name of God Almighty. I speak to those good intentions of your heart. It says the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off. Your expectations shall become your manifestations. All that you are believing God for today shall happen quickly. Everywhere you turn, it shall be your turn. Amen. Everyone you need to support you will not say no. Amen. Your applications, your papers before any officer, your approval, your check, your money, wherever they are, the Holy Ghost come on them now to sign it. Amen. Everything that brings you money, I speak the power of God, enter them now. Amen. Wow, you will not just be hearing these things, they will become the realities of your life. We'll build more on this tomorrow. Family Manuel is my name. I love you. Have a great day.